how to have more success in, in uh, evangelism, preaching the gospel to the world, but there is a way. And why do people uh, preach the gospel and have no success? Some reason is, could be, that uh, in different countries it's harder. There's no doubt that if you're in an atheist country it's harder to be able to receive the truth. But there's another reason. So we can read the quotes together. It's hard to see from here. Okay. Many present the doctrines and theories of faith, but the presentation is a salt without savor. For the Holy Spirit is not working through their faithless ministry. They have not opened their heart to receive the grace of Christ. They know not the operation of the, Holy Spirit, of the Spirit. They are as meal without leaven. For there is no working principle in not their labor, and they fail to win souls to Christ. They do not appropriate the righteousness of Christ. It is a robe unworn by them, a fullness unknown, a fountain untouched. If we preach the gospel and we're going to tell people you have to do this and that, this is not going to be saving people. Even you or me, if you are in the church, and this is something I need to work on, because me, I like to go deep into prophecy. If you present prophecy, Bible, Revelation, Daniel, then uh, if you don't put the love of Jesus, it's not going to work. It's not going. Uh, it's not going. It's going to be working, not working. But we have to know that uh, if you want to be with God, then it's because Jesus loves you. It's because Jesus loves you, then you want to be in heaven. You want to live forever with Him. And uh, this is the reason why people want to accept Jesus because He loves them so much, He forgives their sins, and He has a place for them in heaven. If you present the gospel, like you have to do this, or don't do this, and don't do that, and don't do this, oh, so people, some people might accept the gospel this way, but it's going to be a painful Christianity. Maybe, maybe many people believe in painful Christianity. Oh, don't do this, don't watch this, oh, don't do that. And it's very difficult because they, they're, not, they're not free in Jesus. Paul says, uh, uh, everything is lawful to me, but not everything is expedient. Everything is lawful to me. You can do whatever you want almost as, as a Christian. The Ten Commandments is mostly don't hurt God and don't hurt others. Love God, love others. So, and everything else, you must you must be free to do uh, as long as you don't, as you love others and love God, you're free to do whatever you want. And Christianity says, no, don't do this and that and that and that. So this is very painful Christianity because people, Christians spend all the time trying to see, oh, if I'm going to do this, I'm, if I'm going to take the next step, can I take the next step? No, this is not real Christianity. In fact, Christianity is mostly you spend time with Jesus, you read the Bible, you pray, and you live in your thoughts with Jesus all day long. This is very easy.